Hello, rising seniors. Welcome to student registration for next year. I ask you to please watch this presentation in its entirety because your registration for next year is a little bit more complicated uh, than, than the younger students. So um, this is all going to be done um, electronically uh, through BCPS1. And you are going to have courses already pre-registered when you log in and we'll, we'll give you further instructions on how to do that. So the courses that you're likely already going to have listed are going to be English, um, maybe social studies and math, uh, maybe a science or world language. So those, those courses might be hardwired um, and they are derived from your current academic placement and or your current teacher's recommendation. Now, if there's something in there that you don't um, have to take or that you want to change to something else, that request must go through your current school counselor. So you're not going to be able to make that change yourself, but you can request for the change to be made by emailing your school counselor. So we are still going to ask you to look at what was the um, uh, the paper copy of your current registration. Um, so in the past you had done this and you looked and you did your registration on this paper. So we're going to still provide that for you because it also gives you course numbers, which you may choose to use during registration. So we're going to ask you when you go to actually type in or plug in your course request that you're referring to this form. All right, so here's some of the complexity. As seniors, you have some options to have not be in school all day and either take release time with parent permission, uh, use uh, early college access program or dual enrollment where you leave school here early and then you go to take a course at CCBC, either in person or online, or you may be electing to participate in an internship program. So if you're signing up for release time, and you want to only come to school for two periods of the day. So you have to sign up for even numbers. You have to be signed up for four, six, or eight. So if you want to only come for four and have release time for the other two periods of the day, you need to sign up for, make sure you're signed up for four credits of classes, and then you add release time. And that tells us that you're when you want to leave. If you want to take three classes in day school and then have release time, then you need to be signed up for six credits and then add release time. Dual enrollment is the same logic. Again, if you want to be released from school after second period, you sign up for four credits and then dual enrollment. If you want to be released after third period, you sign up for six credits and dual enrollment. Internship, slightly different because an internship course actually carries credits. So if you want to take an internship, and be out after second period, you sign up for four credits and then internship. And then it will say you are signed up for six credits. If you want to take only one period of internship, then you'll sign up for six credits and the internship class, and then you would actually be signed up for eight credits. Internships require an application that gets submitted to Ms. Carter, and you'll be able to find that application on the registration website. So any student not enrolled in release time, dual enrollment, or an internship must be registered for eight credits. So the BCPS course registration guide is also going to be made available to you on the registration homepage, so you're able to access that. Now keep in mind that the classes that are in this registration guide are not necessarily offered at Delaney High School. This is why we want you to always reference that course registration sheet first. Those are the classes that are actually at Delaney High School. Then if you see something there and then you are wondering what is that class like, what's the course description, then you go back and refer into the guide, find that course in the course description, and then you'll be able to get that information from the guide. You don't go to the guide first, you use the guide more like a dictionary. What, what happens in this class? Now, things to consider when you're selecting your courses. 
First and foremost, do you have any graduation requirements that still need to be satisfied? So do you have an art credit hanging out there, a tech credit, a health credit? If you're a transfer student, um, were you out of sequence? Do you need an additional history credit, an addis additional science credit, credit et cetera? Uh, then you want to think about, are you taking a course um, that's working towards your completer program, right? So do you still need another course to satisfy the world language completer, or if you're in HVAC or Project Lead the Way, computer science, business, et cetera? Then the programs that you might take for interest and passion, um, do you want to continue with those? So if art's that, or music, uh, theater, dance, et cetera, do you have space to get some of those courses in there? And then finally, is there something you are interested in learning about? Just uh, think of it this way, that this might be your last time to get education without it costing you anything. So if there's a particular subject area you had some ideas about and you're wondering what it's like and we offer a course there, this is a time for you to explore that. Keep in mind about what is the proper amount of rigor in your schedule. So what does your course selection look like? Is it packed with GT and AP courses, right? So for some students, that's absolutely fine. For another student, it could flip the apple cart. So you want to make sure you have a good understanding um, if, uh, with the kind of course load you have going in. And remember, senior year, um, you know, if you're applying to colleges, that's, a, that's an added uh, task that happens in the fall. So that, that's something you have to account for as well. So you want to talk that over with your, with your folks, your teachers, and your counselors, just to make sure um, you know, that you have, a, have a, a good fit in terms of rigor. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, maybe I can up my game a little bit. Maybe there's an honors or GT or an AP course that I could get some experience with in um, and, and get that coursework in their senior year to help increase my rigor a little bit. So it can go both ways. Again, talk it over with your folks, teachers, and or your counselors. All right, so in terms of registration, we're asking you to go back to that registration page on the, on the Delaney website. Um, there's more instructions for you to pull up and read about how you specifically are going to access the registration portal through BCPS1. So please, again, have your course, a tab up of the course registration paper of the courses that are available to you um, for your grade level. Have a tab up of the course registration instructions and then a tab up for uh, BCPS1 in order you to do your input of uh, your courses. Good luck with all this. And again, your counselors are available to help you um, with any questions you might have.